Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. Presidential candidate Ron Paul is trying to win over Nevada's Latino voters. Just a couple of hours ago, he met with the state's oldest Hispanic political organization, Hispanics in Politics. And all of this precedes Saturday's caucuses, where some 60,000 registered Republicans are expected to participate here in Nevada. You see News 3's Rob Munoz is all over the story. He's in our newsroom. So, Rob, Ron Paul has quite the local following, it turns out. And Kim, he's expecting a lot of support and votes this Saturday. Today, he had a crowd of a couple hundred at a public forum put on by the influential nonpartisan group Hispanics in Politics. Ron Paul is in his second day of campaigning here in Las Vegas and Nevada, persuading Republican voters heading into Nevada's caucuses this Saturday. He told the crowd today that, quote, we should be Americans because we are equals and we shouldn't expect any special privileges between us. And on the topics of immigration, Ron Paul said he doesn't believe in giving special special rights to certain groups and said he doesn't support bills like the DREAM Act. It's a proposal that would give children of illegal immigrants temporary residency to go to school here. And it caught some Hispanic attendees by surprise. Some said they didn't agree with his policies on these issues, but they said they were glad he chose to speak to the crowd today. And I asked Ron Paul why he accepted the group's invitation to speak. There was, a, you know, an invitation. We were delighted to get it because I am convinced in my mind that the message of liberty in our Constitution, when properly understood, brings people together and we're not seen as being divisive and we see people only in groups. The problem has been that groups have been discriminated against, so they think in groups. And the group invited the other Republican presidential candidates. They said Ron Paul was the only candidate to accept the invitation. Ron Paul will remain here in Nevada until Saturday when he'll head to Minnesota next to continue his campaign. And Paul finished second in Nevada's caucuses in 2008 with 14% of the vote and behind former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney. Kim? All right, Rob, thank you very much for that. Ron Paul does have another event scheduled here in Las Vegas today. It'll be over at the Four Seasons Resort. And then tomorrow, he's going to be up in Elko, way up north. Then he also will go to the Reno area, Washoe County, before heading to Pahrump on Friday.